Hi everybody, Laura here for Neat and Tangled. So glad you're joining me. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're not having a wonderful day, well, I've got a very colorful project that I hope will brighten your day at least. And we are starting with something that I'm on a bit of a kick with right now called the Lucy Goosey Watercolor. But I'm gonna call this my Lucy Goosey Slap Down. Okay, and I'll explain why. So I'm starting with a piece of Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock, and then I'm using lots of different mini Distress Ink cubes, and I'm smooshing them down on my craft mat. Then I take a really wet brush, and I literally slap them down. So it's the Lucy Goosey slap down. And I really have no rhyme or reason, except for the fact I do go in rainbow order, because when my colors overlap, I want to make sure that I don't get a muddy brown. So I go from the blues to the greens to the yellows to the oranges, spice marmalade, and then I'll work my way down with the picked raspberry, and that'll work its way in to the Mermaid Lagoon. You get that purple magic right there. So I am being conscious with my color choices, but other than that, literally, I'm slapping it down. And I work in layers because you can see how it lightens up. And if you want a really light look, then you can stop at layer one. But me, I like to pump up the volume. And so I work two layer, three layer until I get the vibrancy that tickles my fancy. It's all about tickling your fancy. You know what I mean? So you gotta go until you're happy, until your fancy is tickled. And so here's layer two, drying it with my heat gun. And I'm going in a third time. This time I'm adding some even uh, more intense colors, blueprint sketch. I believe this is either Abandoned Coral or Festive Berries. This one's here, Lucky Clover. And then um, down in the middle there to pump up the purple magic, doing a little wilted violet. Love this. Love how it's coming together. Then I just took a plain, wet, clear brush, flicking on some flicks of water. You know how the Distress Inks react? I love it. It's all about the loosey-goosey, smackdown, flicked look. Now what I'm doing here is adding some of that stick it. Have you heard of that stick it? It's sticky on both sides. Super thin and I'm going to peel off so it's now the whole entire backing is sticky. You following me? And then I'm going to adhere this to some fun foam. I learned this little technique from Jennifer McGuire, the great Jennifer McGuire, and it's a fantastic idea for getting easy dimension. So I'm running this whole thing through with this gorgeous polygon cover plate. This is by Neat and Tangled. Beautiful geometric design to it. I want to mention I also used a metal shim under my cutting plate because I want to make sure I got a clean cut with all these layers and this thickness. Now I'm using press and seal to hold it all together. I'm taking some multi-matte medium and normally I use glossy accents when I do stuff like this. I think if I did it again, I might use glossy accents. I don't know. I'm still kind of new to the multi-matte medium. I'm on the fence whether or not I like it better than glossy accents. I don't know. So now I'm adhering it to a card base and carefully removing, although I don't even think I really needed the press and seal, but I wanted to make sure no pieces popped out. But you can see here, I sped this up quite a bit. It took me a while. I would recommend putting some heavy books on this and giving it a couple of hours to really let that multi matte medium glue dry. Let everything dry. And I think you'd have a much easier time when you remove your foam. Right now I'm struggling because I didn't wait for my glue to dry. So the pieces are still wet. They're slipping, they're sliding, they're falling off, and I'm about to start crying. So learn from my mistake. If you do this, if you dare to do this, let it dry for half an hour. Put something heavy on it, some phone books. Does anybody even have phone books anymore? Or acrylic blocks. Whatever you can find heavy, let it sit, let it dry. I did have a few little pieces that literally just popped right off, tiny little triangles, and I did adhere those. Was not a big deal. Now, because I'm almost in tears, I wanted to make sure that this was stuck down onto my card base. So here I am putting some, some uh, stamp blocks and I'm finding heavy things. I let it sit for about a, an, an hour. I think I went and had lunch. And then now I will tell you what, these puppies are glued down and they're going nowhere. I'm confident to say that now. Now moving on to the sentiment, I'm using these awesome word dies. I die cut four of them and I'm using my spray adhesive to quickly adhere all four together. Makes it nice and thick. And then I'm taking some silver thread, making a little circle nest, if you will, to go behind my sentiment. 
and then I'll take some glossy accents and adhere this awesome word die cut. It's nice and dimensional. This card has a lot of dimension. And then I went ahead and embossed a coordinating sentiment from the awesome stamp set. And then just to finish it off, a few of those little clear droplets. And that's all she wrote, folks. Hey, awesome. Looks good on you. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time.